part na yung pinalang um, well, I since the Kuya Escort days, I was in um, a couple TV shows. Uh, I was in Happy House. I was in Legal Mistress on Channel Five, um, and I've, I've been in some other productions. But the most recent film I did before Virgin Forest was Pusoy. Yes, but parang you were on. Very small role. I think it was a role for Derek Brillante to test me out and see if I could work with his style. Um, because alam nyo, yung style ni Brillante parang mas on the the scene, hindi hindi nasa script. Dapat may toto ang nararamdaman talaga sa kahit whatever you do. So uh, I think that that was a big thing. Dito, actually, I noticed that this entire cast is uh, Virgin Forest. Naha kami close. Pero I would say yung pinaka close ko, I see Marky Strong, uh, chaka si Ivan uh, Padilla. Uh, hindi dito si Ivan, pero uh, he was in the movie. Siya yung ibang lover. Uh, they were very good. Tapo si uh, um, sino pa? Uh, si Cat Dovi. I noticed na she is so brangtalino. She has a great idea in her mind of how scenes are supposed to work. Great imagination. I felt like we connected right away. When I was listening to her. Pero ang kumbaga kay Xena niya si Rob Pinto. How was kung sa yung pagtitrabaho sa kanya? How was working with her? I felt really nervous um, because it was my very first sex scene, and so yung first sex scene mo, you know, threesome rate palayon. It's like uh, struggle, but she's such a professional. She's so good um, that. She helped us feel more comfortable, Iba, and, and that helped me settle down and just give a good performance. I just wanted to make it look realistic, na but I'm actually like really like raping her. That was very important because it's just after the scene where she realizes na she's been betrayed and now she's sold into slavery. So it has to look dark and it had to look real. So, but she was so good with that. How do you that convince them that um, well, you know, I'm 29 years old now. I've been in the show business for mga five years. So even though I'm kind of new, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. And, uh, you know, being an American, we live in um, a liberated society. So it wasn't a big deal for me. I felt not, this is okay, actually. I can, I can do this as long as there's artistic quality and value. There's merit. I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. Land of mountains and skiing and Mormons and all the rest. Yeah. yeah. But are you willing to do frontal just like Sid Lucero? Will you be able to do that? Yeah, I actually think I would be okay with that. Um, I don't I don't know if my uh, totoy would do that. <laughs> I hope he'd perform, but you know. I, I would be okay with it. Yeah, that's not a problem for me. Yeah. For this movie, plaster oh, the plaster. Did you use plaster? Oh, plaster of all. But I think na sa mga future projects, kasi ma marami ako future projects. I also na magplaster. Why? Why? Why do you do that? I well, unang sa kung kailangan mong like mag CR, hindi po ede kasi plaster plastered up. Tapos alam ko na na sa post when it's in post production. You can it, it can be difficult to edit around the plaster. And third of all, I think that uh, I heard from the actresses that if they are plastered, it can hurt them. Uh, maybe it's like scratchy and mga So I, I felt like 
to protect the actress, it might be better to go no plaster. You know, maybe wear just a condom or something instead of plaster. Oh. Pero ikaw ba personally, pag nagawa ka ng love scene, hindi na iwasang maturn on I think that it's actually difficult for me to get turned on because of the situation, right? There's a lot of people around you, and so it can be a little difficult. But um, that's, I think that's where acting comes in, and trying to make it look convincing and believable, and just using the, what you know from your personal experience, having sex in your life or whatever. Applying that into it, especially something as sexy as Virgin Forest, right? You have to use that experience. Greg, your grandma would like to ask you a question. Yes, okay, grandma. Where did the question came from? Where did the grandma? Do you use condoms and what is the size of the condoms? I I don't use condoms. No, I if I if I'm with a new um if I'm with a new partner, I, of course I'll use a condom. Um, but if it's uh, if I have to buy a condom. I usually buy like a large, but in the U.S. it might be a medium lang. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, I just got a call. Hold on, I'm sorry. Pero wala ka naman mga ano? Sorry, sorry. Mga one night stand. I am not a one night stand type of guy. Actually, I prefer na to... I'm a serial monogamist. So, I'll be with uh, one girl for about four or five, six years, and if we break up, I'll get with another girl, and then I'll be with her for four or five or six years, and I stay loyal to one. But when I am single, I'll just, yeah. No, it, I, I, it, yeah, I, I feel it's because I'm, um, I'm sapio romantic or what? Sapio sexual? Is that what they call it? Yes. I'm attracted to like us among a intelligent people. Yeah, to the, it's more about the inside of the person for me. And you can only do that if you stay with them for a long time. The uh, zodiac. Uh, I'm a Taurus and a rooster. Uh, I do. I have a girlfriend now. Uh, we've been together for five years. Thank you. My uh, my grab is here, but uh, thank you for the interview. Um, I have uh, the next one that I have is with Brillante, and then I have another one with Joy Reyes. Oh. So, very, very, very excited. They're legendary directors. Yes. Will you adopt and a bear again in your next one? I will be. I will be naked. Yes. So watch, watch out. I need. I, I need the gym again. I need to go back to the gym. Is your girlfriend here in Philippines? Yes, yes, yes. She's at home actually. Hey, thank you so much for the interview.